So we have seen in <coughs> polymath how to solve single variable nonlinear or multivariable nonlinear equations or how to solve ordinary differential equation. In today's session, we are going to see how to regress a given data using polymath. So let's see we have this is vapor pressure as a function of temperature data, which I'll which I'll insert here in polymath. So you know in polymath you have to click this for the new problem and out of these options click on data regression click open and you say see this so here i will copy the data so these are your pressures these are your temperature so i think i'll uh, uh, copy it like okay so this column one is my inset and column two is my temperature in Celsius. Temperature. Right. So now I want to develop a relationship between vapor pressure and temperature. Now, when you open regression, you got various options. So linear and polynomial, multiple linear and non-linear. So here, if I make my dependent variable to be the temperature, right, and independent like dependent variable to be vapor pressure, and independent variable to be temperature. And if I say that I want to set a linear term, so P set is A0 plus A1T. So I just need to press this and I get a report A0 plus A1T. So this is how the vapor pressure is related as a function of temperature in form of A0 plus A1T. And you can see that R square is not good and calculated value of, of pressures are much different from what the actual values are. So this is just a random, you know, uh, you know set or fit. If I want to go for a, you know, second degree polynomial, I just click this and I get this. And you can see that R square is good, right? But your 95% uh, confidence interval is not good. And still, the fit is also not good. So you cannot even set it like that. Say, for example, you go to third and just press this and you get this. So you can increase the, you know, uh, 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 degree of the polynomial with increase in the uh, with just uh, you know selecting the proper parameter. So here also now we can see that the fit is much better compared to linear and uh, you know second degree. Say for example I want to go for a linear but uh, I want the, it to have a you know, passing through origin so I'll have only p equal to a t. If I just press here sorry and you get this right so the variance is too much r square is also too much but point is you can do that so depending upon the requirement you can select the you know uh, required thing now say for example i want to set this as p set is exponential a minus b over t plus c so that becomes my function so i'll write the function so if i enter p set equals exponential a so model parameters are a b c p set and t are my parameters like my variables and you know i just need to give some initial estimate for a b c so what would be the initial estimate like if i know the system for which i am doing finding out this uh, you know a b c which are termed as n to n constant i should start with that so say i'll go with 12 1700 and 160 and i just need to press this now this will give me the values of my constants r square variance and you can see that the fit is almost similar if you want some plots while you generate this data you can just generate graph of the experimental and predicted and you can also generate the graph of residues so just click this and what you find is that this is your same result which I obtained earlier. And I minimize. These are the plots of you know residuals. Then this is the plot of vapor pressure calculated as a function of you know this is your uh, you know calculated pressure versus experimental. You can see that all the points are falling almost on this 
you know lines so that means this is your experimental this is your predicted so they are matching you can even this is how your experimental and calculated are shown as a function of data point uh, right so 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 you know it, it's very simple to regress any particular model like you know if you want to fit this model to some other data to some other model you can just write that expression here and you can get the answer only thing is you need to provide some initial estimate fine so this is how we can you know uh, use uh, regression analysis using polymath thank you